people kind of laud the fact that uh, Michal Donoghue put Joe Canning centre forward, but actually that game you're talking about against Tipperary and Thurles, you had Canning centre forward that day. How how much instruction do you have to give a player like that? Obviously, he's got all the talents in the world, but you had him in full forward, and he, like you know, we all remember that goal against uh, Kilkenny in the Leinster final where he's it he comes in from distance and he catches it on the spin and buries it. He obviously could score brilliant goals do anything with the ball really how much instruction do you give a player like that or do you just say to everyone else just get the ball to Joe and then let, let's watch the fireworks after that ah, you, you, you don't really you just let him play and th- there would be a debate like where's he best served I think in latter years definitely you know the fact that he can come out he's more of a playmaker uh, you know when he gets a score out from, from the centre forward positions or he's involved in the middle third in plays He's very, very intelligent and uh, can bring far more players into the game. Um, he, he's just natural genius and ability. You don't have to say anything to, to, to do Kenny never did. Uh, you just you just always kept pushing him to say, keep believing in yourself, go go for the next ball, even if you don't win that one, yeah, you will win you will in the next one. So it's really belief and th- those are the pointers that you're trying to, you know, to, to give to the to the top that top class players and uh, you know to advise that there will be times in a match where you are you're not going to win every ball um you know you're playing on top 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 defenders but the ball will come so have you have your patience have your time it will come um and keep believing apart you know in in general plays he's he's going to figure those out and know where to be in the best position it was the same with joe cooney it's the same with david book it's the same with all all the top top players um they just they're just natural and they know the where to be. So your setup you would work on and your, your system of play you'd work on, but the players individually, um, yeah, you'd, you'd never be saying something like give the ball to Joe or like that would be, <laughs> be under 10 or 12 stuff. But yeah, invariably the top players are on more players and and uh, it's how you play off them and, and to, to give them better options is, is, is probably what you concentrate on in quite a, quite so a bit. So well. remember in 2012, uh, after the drawn All Ireland final, he was quoted like I think he had to show up for an event maybe in in Turles to do with I don't know some promotional event or other, and he had talked about um, Kilkenny perhaps being on sporting or JJ Delaney or what was being said to the referee during that drawn final. There was a huge kind of countrywide focus on that. Is that something that bothered you at all? Or do you think it had any tangible impact on how your preparations for the replay? I don't. Even- I don't even recall it to be honest with you. That's how little, <laughs> that's how little uh, heed we paid to it. So, um, again, at that at those times, as the years progressed, there's there's probably more attention on media, definitely, and there's. But you either you either get absorbed in it and get bogged down in it, or you you just do your press night and you keep it at a distance. And for us, it was keep everything like that at a distance. We wouldn't get involved in it. I I honestly because you had so much time. And you're preparing so much for training sessions and you're watching videos and your analysis and you're concerned about injuries and team there's so much going on when you're involved with teams that you're not uh, involved in anything that goes on outside so you just get smart and you don't you don't pick up the papers you don't go on social media you don't go uh, online and uh, yeah there's tips you're giving to players it's it's that as well so I don't even recall that to be honest with you. That's that's how much you'd be involved in in in, in playing. So, um, yeah, and look at the, you'd always say to players, there's always going to be, you know, some of them would ask saying, well, I have to do this interview or I have a press night here. What you know, is there is there anything we want to say or not say? Or uh, I'd say just just relax and be yourself. But you know, you'd always be given the tips to say, well, look at anybody can bend any bit of a story anyway. So. If there is an outcome of something you said that it's not good, that's you, we know well. Everybody knows well you didn't mean it, so don't don't ever worry about anything like that. It's probably a bit like this: someone will pick up something and say, "Oh, you never said such and such a player. He he should have won an All Ireland medal." Um, yeah, look, yes, yeah, you you just you just you just want the players to be natural and to, you know, the 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 players like of 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 Joe Canning's stature and his honesty as a man would never. You never offend or hurt anybody, uh, and uh, same the same with with all the players that were there. Um, for, for for me, were just third gentlemen to work with.
And like that, that period, like uh, 2013, the end of 2013, Nina Donahue, of course, took his own life. And I, I did a piece with um, with Davy Burke, Connor Whelan, and and um, uh, and Niall's family afterwards. It's unbelievably moving. How how difficult was that at the time as the leader of that kind of panel to see the effect that that would have had on 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 the players? Never mind, obviously Niall's family. But that must have been a very testing time as manager. Yeah, I mean, Niall was such a, you know, a, a brilliant young man, a, a really lovable, adorable young man because he was, uh, he was, a, he was, he was such a character, very quite spoken, but you know, uh, just just wanted one thing, and that was to be better at hurling, and and still, to this day, like he he that was his life, and he he just adored hurling, and that was his 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 way of expressing himself, and. Um, yeah, it was it was really really tough on 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 Niall and really tough on the family. But it did it did it did knock a bit out of out of young players of his own age. Quite a lot of them on on the panel that stage at that time, um, and that's that's natural that that would you know that's that's natural that that would happen or that was one of the outcomes from it. That was it was difficult, for sure, um, because a lot of them had, had played in that under twenty one team and Niall was was. You know, was 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 part of of, of, of that gang. Um, yeah, it, it, it's it's really really difficult, and and there's a lot today on on wellness, and you know, when, when guys suffer really with, with 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 being unwell and that, and I think, yeah, it's it there's a lot more help there now. There's there's definitely there's definitely it's it's, it's a similar of, of having an, it's same as having an injury or having an illness, and and you just get it right. And we tried at that time as well with with Niall to to work with certain people and getting it right but yeah it's it's something i think everybody should look out for um in every facet of life but you know particularly when you're involved with teams that that you'd be probably more conscious of it now but uh but, you know on reflection it did it did knock us back a bit but um you just it just needed time and healing and 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 you know there wasn't that big of a you could probably sense that for the first couple of matches after that that that's you know, it was it was going to be first couple of train sessions after that. That uh, you know the buzz wasn't there, but it did. Look at it in 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 memory of Neil, guys did did pull together and wanted to go and win for 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 Neil and David Brooke, You know, brilliantly um, on his All Ireland final speech mentioned Neil and said it was a special place for Neil in that panel and that in that win and um, that's so good to have as a memory and and so so good for Neil and his family. You know? Did you like it? You talked earlier about how difficult it is to, to sort of drop players off the panel. I mean, ultimately, you know, your time came to an end there to sort of, and the players kind of got that message across. So I'm sure that was very difficult. But when you go on and then watch them win in All-Ireland a couple of years later, is are you kind of a little bit torn because you're like, I brought a lot of those players fairly far and then you obviously would have liked to have been involved in some way. Was, was it difficult that way or were you just happy for them? Well, you you definitely be happy. Um, you'd be definitely proud that you had helped in some small way over the years of bringing them. Uh, some when, when they left minor, quite a lot of them to to twenty one to into senior setups. Um, I would say the setup that we started up in twelve was, yeah, it we would hope that it was the start of a really really strong management setup uh, with good coaching, top class facilities, and and bringing it right through. I introduced gym work and a lot of preparation over the winter that now is 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 just day in day out work for teams. So you'd be very happy that you'd you'd, you'd helped in a lot of ways. But uh, yeah, look at it's it's difficult that it, it, when you're in a management game or when you're a county player or whether you're a club player even you're there for a fine it's a, a, a small piece of time really in, in the overall the club always exists when you're gone the county always exists when you're gone the team will always go on there will always be a team even now with the different times we have coronavirus um, like you know the focus is on, on the country and supporting in every way we can to to, to eradicate and to, to stop the spread of, the, of, of a deadly disease where people are dying so that's our focus now is to support every single person we can um like my mother's in in in, um, in the alzheimer's unit in the home and like for the last number of years but the staff there are tremendous like and they're petrified that they'll 
you know, bring the, the, the virus into the home, when you speak to them, you know, every every week you, you speak to them and, and you ask how they're doing and you, 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 you take that amount versus sport, pastime and, and the hard luck stories, you'll say, you know, you, you, you say that pales into insignificance compared to, to what the country is facing now. But, you know, to go back to 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 that, you know, my, my time is, is, is only for a couple of years or a couple of months or whatever amount of time Roscommon decide that I'm with there. Now, um, whether I'll, you know, be with a club or a county thereafter, I, I don't know. Uh, you're always on a, on, on a finite amount of time in any setup. Um, yeah, you'll have regrets that that you hadn't been part of the of the of the, the team that won in twelve and in fifteen, um, but you you can't begrudge anybody's success, um, and and definitely did not uh, begrudge any player or any setup, and for me, Hall and the boys that year to win, yeah, tremendous, and and yeah, it's, it's, you, you'd al- you'd always want to be. it's the same. Same as you were growing up, and you said, "Well, I'd I'd like to be an exceptional soccer player, or rugby player, or and, and you see them win the World Cup or 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 a, or a Champions League." You say, "Well, what if I played professional sports?" And yeah, you probably had that that regret growing up, saying, "Yeah, I'd love to play sport every single day of the year." You know, uh, um, in in the same way, yeah, you have you have regrets. Yeah, I'd love to be out on the field there or whatever. But for for me, no. I mean, just just. You, you you have to move on. It was difficult at the time to answer your question. Difficult, but uh, but yeah, that's the game that you're in. It's 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 a management and coaching and playing um, and being with with the county teams and even club teams is difficult. And that uh, there's other sort of guys that want your place. Um, they will change you out after a number of years. So that's that's the nature of the beast. <laughs>